it's very, very critical time for me. A Winnipeg taxi driver says he was viciously assaulted while on the job, leaving him with 15 stitches. Now Winnipeg's taxi industry is calling on the city of Winnipeg to take action to deal with the thefts and assaults. Around 8 p.m. on Christmas Eve, Duffy's taxi driver Fitzam Geverhat was called to pick up a customer at 400 Kennedy Street. While waiting for the customer, he noticed someone had dropped their hat on the street. Then I told him, sir, 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 uh, your hat is on the floor. Then he starts saying, uh, swearing and saying, like, uh, you better know, you better know, you better know. Geverhat says the person came up to the car, smashed the window and stabbed him, leaving him with wounds on his thigh and elbow. He, he's a random person. I just want to be nice to him and respectful to him. I don't want him to lose his property or his heart. So I just want to be nice to him. That's it, like... I don't know why, like, what was happening to me. I, like, I feel unsafe. Winnipeg police confirming to City News that a 24-year-old suspect was arrested and charged with assault causing bodily harm. This incident following a string of recent violent encounters with taxi drivers. Back in October, Rahman Sadiq was attacked by a person with a machete. Gurmeet Singh says this was a senseless act. He wants to see action from the city of Winnipeg. I was thinking because this kind of incident I talked with my brother, uh, like my friends and brothers, uh, with just only three people on the cab. Like the front seat should be removed and then there's a pool seal there is going to be appreciated. City News reached out to the city of Winnipeg for comment. They say safety is the top priority and have a number of safety measures already in place, including equipping all taxis with cameras and installing shields to protect the driver. But city officials are reviewing more measures. Quote, discussions on further safety enhancement have been ongoing and the city has invited members of the taxi industry to propose additional measures. But Ranjwan Brar, the president of Duffy's Taxi, says he wants to see these ongoing discussions turn into something useful. All drivers are saying to me, like when they're working and putting their lives on the forefront, it's like, uh, you know, they work through the COVID just like any other frontline workers without any protection. The president of Unicity Taxi, Gurmail Manget, agrees with Brar. He wants to see taxi drivers treated the same way as transit drivers. They, they don't treat us as we should, we should be. We should treat as fair as possible. We are very disappointed for that. I want to feed my family, I want to be safe, I want to be doing my job, I want to follow the rule of the companies, that uh, how I was treating the customers. So these things will happen to me with a random person. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.